a little bit later in John chapter 6, the people just ask Jesus, okay, so what's the work of God that we might do it? And he says, this is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he has sent. That word believe means entrust, give yourself to. Let me close with this and we sing. It's as if Jesus is saying, don't miss me. Remember last week I had this little stool up here? This little stool that I said, trust in him, get the rest. Well, Jesus doesn't want you to think he's a little stool. He is everything. He is the center of what you should trust in. And what Christ calls you to do is say, here I am, don't miss me. I am the 800-pound gorilla. I'm the one that can give you rest. And you've got to decide, okay, what am I going to do with that Jesus? You're going to say, I'll tell you what I'm going to do with that Jesus. I'm going to trust in him. That's my Jesus. That's my king. And I love him. And you just pony up and go, let the world know this. <laughs> this is who I serve. Now look, gang, this is what Christ is saying in John 5. Don't miss me. There's no one else like this. You can reject this rest if you want. But when you come to Christ... You have rest. Why? I don't want to lean on my own understanding. In all my ways, I acknowledge him. He makes my path straight. I don't have to ask God, what do I do in this conflict situation anymore? I go, hey, Father, what should I do? I don't have to uh, go, what do I do now that I've got pain and uh, despair in my life? I go, okay, Father, how do you want me to use this? But I, the world knows. Hey, look, I have trusted in this one. This is the one. Let me just give you six quick statements. You ready for this? Jesus is not someone to be familiar with. He is the only one that you should put your faith in. He's the only 800-pound gorilla. He is the only oversized chair. He is the pivot point of eternity. He doesn't want you to go, yeah, there's a good provision over there that happened. You go sit in him and put your faith in him. Jesus is not to be prominent in your life. He's not even to be a priority. Don't prioritize Jesus. Don't make him special among other things. He is to be preeminent there is nothing that you do apart from him. Everything you do flows from him, and that's the good works. Jesus is not somebody that you can choose not to honor and still honor the Father. You can't honor the Father without honoring the Son. If you don't honor Jesus, you don't honor the Father, and you'll be resurrected to judgment. It's as simple as that. There's no other way. There's no dual covenant. It's Jesus. You cannot find life without finding Christ. There is rest in nobody else, and you will weary yourself looking for it. This is rest. You will not escape judgment without embracing Christ. Can't do it. This is the only place the fire is already burned, right here at the cross. And if you tether yourself to anything else, you will be consumed. But not to die, to live forever as a sacrifice to an eternally perfect king. Listen to me on this one. If you lay hold of Jesus, you will lay hold of life change. Not my idea, this is his. You will lay hold of life changing truth. If you do not have life change, you should ask yourself, have I laid hold of Jesus? See, don't tell me that you have a marital problem. You don't have a marital problem. You've got a spiritual problem. Don't tell me you've got coping strategies to deal with your depression or your loneliness. No, you don't. You lack a Christ. He says, those that are by grace, part of my vine, will bear fruit. Not perfectly. He's made provision for that. But the direction of your life is transformation. People who just talk about the chair but don't sit in it are never at rest. And they never rock. And the world never is wondering at the source of their kindness and goodness. And if you don't have life change, I will just tell you, Jesus thinks it's because you don't have him. He says, pick up your mat, your mat and walk, follow me. I will give you life, trust in me. I will forgive your sins and set you free.